Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany, and today's video is going to be for my matte girls and guys. Okay, I don't have on any highlighter, not on my cheeks, not on my inner corner, not on my nose, not on my chin, not on my forehead, nowhere. Okay, this is all matte, matte foundation. I'm just powdered down today, all matte, everything. Period. Okay, my eyeshadow. I want to do like a one shadow color. I mean, I have on two shadows on my eye, but they're both green. They're just two different shades of green, and I mix them together. But I love how this look turned out. Okay, if this is your first time seeing my face or click one of my videos. Hey, what's up? I'm Tiffany. That was rude of me. So just get on here and start talking and assuming you know who I was. Hello. How are you? Hit subscribe before we jump into the video. But if you're not, welcome back. And if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this matte beat, then just stay tuned. So we're starting off today with the face because we're not doing nothing spectacular on the eyes. I have already primed. I have um, serum on my face and I have color corrector. As you can see, little orange spots here and there I did cut my nails down I have a nail appointment next week but I didn't have time to be having all that on my face so I'm not but what I do want to do today if because I forgot I'm being honest um, and I had already put my color corrector and stuff on I want to try to mix these two foundations together. I want to get rid of them, but I don't just want to throw them away. And I don't know anybody that this, this color to actually give them to. So I'm going to try mixing the Beauty Bakery Cake Mix Foundation and the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Foundation. This shade is a tad too dark and this shade is a little bit too light. Um, so I want to try to mix these together to see how it is. They're both matte. So I wanted to put this oil on my face first before I color corrected, but I completely forgot. So I'm going to put some on here now, like towards the bottom, especially because I don't really put much foundation up under my eye anyway. So I don't think it'll make a big difference if I put this on top of, not on top, but... <laughs> One after I put the color corrector on because I'm not really putting the foundation up under my eyes. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference, but I do want to try this today to see. Let me take this bandana off. Oh, honey, edges, period. Um, Yeah, I just don't want to waste it. And I haven't used these, so I'm going to try. So I'm going to do one pump of Beauty Bakery and... That's probably too much, but you guys can see the difference in color. This is Julie's Place and this is Beauty Bakery. So I'm gonna do like a little swirl, mix these two together. <laughs> That's still super light. And see what I get? That's probably way too much. Way, 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 way too much. Looks pretty good. Oh, look at the match. This looks really good mixed together. Oh, this looks really good. Ew, my lips look disgusting. Um, <laughs> this looks good together. Those two mixed together. I'm gonna go over this with a brush though, just to make sure everything is blended and nothing is like caked up. I'm gonna take it down here but like wow I'm back my brows are on giving only powder today oh, am I? I never just do powder. I never actually do powder at, at all but I've been doing powder with my burly brows and it's kind of hitting so for concealer, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced. I don't know why I picked it up like that. Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have two shades. So, oh, Jesus Christ. So, I might use both. I have Maple and then I have Butterscotch. The Butterscotch is a teeny bit lighter. So, I'm going to go ahead with Maple first. 
And this is kind of going to be my main concealer. Boop. I got some eyeshadow because that's what I use my brows. Um, up under my eye a little bit. So that's a thing that happened. I'm going to blend this out first. And then I'll put butterscotch down. Okay. Normally I let it sit down for a little bit. But actually, JK, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit. And I'm going to do ow, my contour. So I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso. I'm pretty much going to leave my forehead be I'm gonna leave it alone for now and just let it do its thing I'm gonna hit it with bronzer but like I'm not gonna put any cream contour down because I don't need it you know up there my forehead isn't that big so I kind of shied away from putting cream contour up there anyway just to eliminate having extra product on my face That's nice and blended. I'm gonna hit my contour with that brush I used to blend out my foundation. Talk about snatch, honey, look at that nose. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into butterscotch. Like I should use butterscotch. Yes, I'm gonna use butters. I don't know why that was such a stressful decision. But yes, I'm gonna use butterscotch and I'm gonna basically concentrate it right up in here i'm gonna take some right down the center of my nose <laughs> i like this to be a bright put some on my stash <laughs> and I'm going to take a different sponge, my Beauty Blender, Now I can finally blend this out. And before I do, I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm gonna set with. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier powder, regular, translucent. And I'm not gonna say anything prior to then, so that's what I'm telling you guys right now. My lips look so disgusting. And I'm gonna just, you guys are gonna see me put it on, but I'm just telling you what it is, so you guys know, cause I'm gonna open it and all that right now, just so I'm gonna worry about none of that extra. Okay, so now that I have gone on ahead and powdered like basically my whole face, I'm gonna go ahead and bronze now. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty bronzer and Coconati, a fave, and this Real Techniques blush brush, and do what I gotta do. Look at the difference. Now to hit the sides of my nose. I'm also going to put it on the sides of my nose. Because I like how this looks. It makes my nose look more pronounced down here. I love that. Love that for me. Okay. I'm also going to blend this out a little bit more on my lid. And pop this in my crease. Because I'm doing one shadow on my lid. And I just need a brown in the crease. I'm 
Okay, I'm just going to throw on some orange blush. So this blush by my Alamar Cosmetics Trio. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Fenty Snap Shadows. If you guys can see it, this is, which one is this? Cadet number seven. Okay, so I'm going to be taking, oh, which, which green? These are both green. I'm going to mix this green and this green. This is leaning more towards the olive, and this one is way deeper, as you guys can see. I'm going to mix both of those. Tap off the excess. Okay, so when I hopped off camera, my camera actually stopped focusing and was acting real dumb. So I just took a second, took a step back. I deepened my crease a little bit, a lot of it, a lot of it. And I popped on my inner corner um, this yellow shade from the palette, this like mustard yellow right here at the bottom called She Salute. Um, I just popped that in my inner corner. I put on Mainline from Urban Decay, the liner, and popped on these lashes. I'll leave the link to these lashes down below. I got it from Amazon, as I do with most of my lashes that you guys see. Most of the time, I'll leave the link down below to these specific ones, though. Um, it's a multi-pack. Oh, it's right here. This is the back. They're all the same lashes. It's just a bunch of them. Um, but I love how this look turned out. I didn't know initially that I was going to do all matte like no highlighter anywhere but I'm glad that that's what I decided to do and I came on here and I shut it down I did what needed to be done and I'm feeling it but if you guys like this look then make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you didn't already and subscribe if you did not already like I said in the beginning but like I always tell you guys I'm your girl Tiffany thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video I put that right here so you guys can see what's good